Good morning everybody, it's Alan from Alan's Homemade Blogs. I'm standing here outside Royal Troon. I said I would give you updates as they come along. Well, a lot of the signage now has been put in. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over and pan round to my left hand side where the main entrance will be for the 2024 Open Golf Championship. The main entrance is going to be here. Yeah. There'll be there'll be a pedestrian access at the far end. And I'm, what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to put some stills in and it'll show you what it was like in 2016. Obviously it won't be exactly the same, but you'll get the gist of things. There we go. That's, I'm overlooking Portland Golf Course which is going to house the tented village, the hospitality area and if I just nip across the road here before it gets too dangerous where I'm looking at just now is the first hole of the Portland, to te Portland golf course and just where I'm looking just now we're going to have the players reception area, the players clubhouse and the players car park which is going to be extended from there and they'll also be using the main Royal Troon car park which is over there so things are warming up as I say it's uh, early days yet construction's going ahead as per schedule in fact considering the weather last week we're actually ahead of schedule and you'll notice that one of the signs is out already for the open deliveries each of the um, sections of the golf course is given a gate number and when deliveries arrive they go to a holding area at car park 4 at Presswick Airport they then radio down to myself and uh, tell me who is it for and where is it going we'll then arrange with whoever contractor the delivery is going to to meet it and they will obviously discuss with myself as to where they would like it being offloaded so well, then I radio back to Presswick and if it's okay we'll say send the vehicle down tell them to go to which gate there's 14 gates gate 14 is by far the busiest and it's got three sections a b and c so there we go that's a wee introduction to the start of things okay I'm showing you now a car park on the south beach this is going to be the whole of the media centre up to those that fence that you see in the distance there. There'll be state-of-the-art facilities for all the media and also the players come here after the rounds for their press conferences. This is going to be gate number two which accesses the media centre and this is gate number one which takes you virtually on to the first tee at the golf course which you'll see just there. So there we are. There's gate two and gate one, media centre and the access to Royal Troon. There's going to be several r &E official vehicles and official caravans in this area, porter cabins for scoring, administration, etc, etc. Hey folks, I'm at Royal Troon Golf Club. You'll see the blue porter cabins in the distance. That is the temporary championship office of the r &E. And if I look down here, this is Crosby Road, which is going to be the major egress and ingress for the deliveries for the championship. You'll see out the car, we're now at gates 12 and 11, and 13 and 14 are straight ahead. Gate 12 to the left-hand side is going to be servicing most of some of the hospitality complexes and the media centre, sorry, the media, not the media centre, the TV centre, and the broadcasting hub, which is going to be behind the ladies' golf clubhouse that you'll see just at the entrance to the car park there. And gate 11 is across here, which is at the 17th green, and that will service, again, some hospitality complexes and some grandstand building. So a lot of the grandstands for 18, 17, 16, first, second and third will come in and out of this gate here. This is gate 13, which will service 
the stand building and also a tented area just to the left of Black Rock House, which sits in the middle of the course. The course is quite busy today. It's nice to see after the hellish weather we've had this week. But this that's the 16th green, 17th tee where the golfers are standing just now. And as I say, this is gate 13. There'll be construction traffic going down this road to facilitate the building of grandstands at all these holes. OK, I've come over to the main construction area. That's our site office there, temporary one just now, and the other site office there. And I'm looking over towards gate 14C and the whole of the area, this is the par three practice course, 12 hole par three course. And that is all gonna be virtually taken up by the TV compound from here until probably the back of the fence up there. So that's going to be quite a vast area. And Sky got their own compound just further on a wee bit. But most of the filming and stuff is done in conjunction with EPT, European Tour Productions. So that will be all there. Since uh, last film, we've had some stuff moved in. We've got containers, got some uh, mat rolls that we roll out wherever we need them in order that we don't dig up too much of the hallowed turf and we've got a contractor's wee area down there. It's actually doing a lot of the um, earthworks at the present. You'll notice that some of the signage has been put up already. This is for the contractors. Keep off the verges because we don't want to rough up the part of the golf course and also it's a strict five miles an hour speed limit. Keeps everybody safe. Morning. So there we are, hope that's given you a wee bit of an overview of what's going on. As I said, uh, just um, keep an eye on when we upload new videos. So this is Alan from Alan's Homemade Vlogs. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. I hope it wasn't too long and too boring. But as I said, just to give you a background of what's happening. And I'll turn the camera around because we've got a lovely vista of uh, the golf course and the Isle of Arran in the background. There we go. What a lovely way to sign off. See you on the next one.